Kiki fan. What's up guys, it's Kasimir Kaskisol here. Pro goal is still free agent. No contract yet. Uh, Fox is back here, Whitney's coming too. We're going to the gym right now. This is gonna be kind of a off season, day in the life, what I do to uh, prepare for the hockey season. I know it's still early in the summer, so uh, pretty basic stuff going on, but kind of like what I <laughs> do, uh, do to prepare, recovery, eat, all that kind of stuff. So hope you guys enjoy and hopefully you young athletes or even older athletes can take something out of it and maybe I'll learn something out of it as well. Where are we going, Fox? To the gym. We're going to get strong. She knows. Let's go. It's still a very early part of the off season. And in this phase, I'm just trying to build muscle, get strong and build a foundation in the gym. It's hard to build a program because I don't know if I'm playing in North America or Europe yet. And the training camps in Europe start about six weeks before North American teams start. Big part of my off-season training is nutrition. And I'm taking my meals to the next level with Factor, who is also the sponsor of this video. Factor chef-crafted, dietitian-approved meals deliver options for every lifestyle right to your door. And for me, it's the perfect lunch after practice to get my recovery kickstarted. Factor provides balanced eating made simple with dozens of delicious, nutritious meals each week based on your taste preferences, dietary restrictions, and meal history. You choose your meals or they can craft your order. Each meal is cooked from scratch by real chefs using the freshest ingredients. Your order is delivered fresh to your door, never frozen along the way. Factor meals can be heated in the oven or the microwave in minutes. As a plant-based athlete, Factor has got me covered with delicious vegan meals that I can trust to help me reach my goals. Factor also offers a complimentary nutrition coach with all their subscriptions, which includes one 20 minute consult with a registered dietitian to gain tailored advice for your wellness journey. Factor is perfect for busy people who want to take the hassle and thinking out of eating good food. Get started with Factor and get up to 50% off using my code GASKISWO50, link in the description. Now that the physical part of the day is done, it's on to a very important part of my day, which is recovery. The sooner you recover, the sooner you get gains and the sooner you'll be able to push harder. The sooner you're able to push harder, it can mean maybe one or two extra days per week that you can really push harder when your muscles feel good, your body feels good. That adds up to so many more practice days in a year. And also taking care of your body prevents injuries. And for me coming home from especially skating and working out hard, all I want to do is kind of lay down to get my recovery started. It's usually good to do kind of like an active recovery thing. So maybe go for a walk, go for a light jog or, or a bike ride. And even going to the mall and just having a walk is, is good for you to stay moving and get the blood flowing that kind of increases your recovery. But what really helps my recovery is all this PTP Fit stuff. I'm very lucky to be partnered with PTP Fit and all their great products has really taken my recovery to the next level and you know kind of adding all these these products to my daily routines and being also able to uh, kind of create my own product line with PTP and collection. So there's a link in the description if you want to go there. That's kind of like my daily essentials, what I bring to the rink every day in this bag. Literally, when I travel, it comes with me everywhere so I can do it at the hotel, at the rink, at home, make sure I'm doing my flexibility stuff, my recovery stuff, whatever it needed. So I usually start my uh, at home recovery with some foam rolling. So pretty simple, just going through the muscles here. You can kind of play around with it, what lower body muscles you want. Uh, usually like 15, 30 seconds per uh, muscle group. Really helps to get the muscles moving and uh, get the blood flow in there. And if you have trickier sore spots, there's this uh, stick massager thing. You can find those little areas that might be sore. Um, same thing with this uh, ice roller. You put this in the freezer, comes out cold. Uh, especially if there's injuries or anything like that, you can find a uh, pretty good relaxation out of this. 
These trigger point balls are essential, especially for goalies with all those tricky spots around the hips. Uh, so I kind of usually just put it like where, where I kind of feel some, some tightness and tenderness and just kind of, you can even leave it there or do kind of a little bit of movement. You can also get the hip flexor, same thing. And talk about the hips. Strong hips are healthy hips. So these micro bands from PTP, they're made out of cloth, so they're very comfortable. So part of my recovery routine, I usually just uh, do some hip strengthening exercises. Uh, pretty simple ones are just some clamshells, two, three sets of 10, 15, however you want it. You can even do uh, straight legs. Anything you can think of really. And once the rolling, the hip strengthening stuff is done, I finish up with some stretching to get my flexibility going. PTP also has this uh, stretchy band, kind of just a little bit behind your back. It kind of helps you get those spots that you would probably normally wouldn't get. Um, you can adjust it. There's a couple different tightnesses, I think, a couple different lengths as well. You can work on it. You can lay on your back and kind of let your, your leg go to the side. And so this is a uh, very simple but effective tool to have with flexibility and stretching. So obviously as a goalie, I have a heavy flexibility focus on the lower half of my body, and especially around the hips and the groin. Uh, I gotta make sure things are moving and things are able to move. I like to keep a little bit of movement in my stretches. Kind of go through this routine probably like about 30 seconds per stretch. Um, I'm just kind of showing you kind of the different things that I do. A lot of common sense with the, with the stretching. Uh, if you find some spots that you think are tight for you, um, make sure to stretch those out. These are kind of my, my go-to stretches as a goalie. Also important to get the ankles moving, especially with uh, beat on the butterfly and pushing out of there and foot in the skate. Um, this is, uh, I think, a very overlooked part of the body is the ankle, especially the mobility that we have in our ankle. And finish up with the couch stretch for your hip flexor and your quad. Um, same thing here, just kind of move around a little bit, find those little spots, especially for me, all the areas that I could possibly be moving into on the ice. Yeah, about 10, 15 minutes a night, you do this stuff, you feel good the next day, and it's like putting money in the bank and that's it. Probably the unsung heroes of my workout routine vision training with visual edge you get these cool 3d glasses you get to do the whole system on the laptop or an ipad so super easy they got weekly plans you get to see your scores how you progress they have a game day routine that i use before games super simple super easy just to get the ice going but yeah i've noticed a big difference uh since i started using visual edge i think it's been a couple years now it helps with tracking the puck effective platform with visual edge and the second thing is breathing exercises. I use the Wim Hof method app for guided breathing. Five to 10 minutes every morning uh, and my breath holds it went from one minute to over three minutes. So it's gotta be doing something. But the most important thing about recovery is sleep. And without good, consistent quality sleep, none of the other stuff in this video matter. So build a routine so your body knows when it's time to sleep. Stick to the same bed and wake up times, even on the weekends. A hot shower, bath, or sauna can help you fall asleep faster before bed. I like to keep the room temperature at about 65, 66 degrees. Uh, you can use blackout curtains or sleep mask to completely go dark, which helps you sleep. I like to have a fan on for some white noise, uh, but now it's time to go to bed, get a good sleep, and get back at it tomorrow.